Hey YouTube, it's Gladiator, and it has been a while. Apologies for that, but uh, but I haven't been I haven't been out too much uh, recently, and I haven't had anything to uh, to show you. But uh, but I finally got around to uh, cleaning up some some finds that I did want to share earlier. Or I guess in, in 2017. So last year I had a chance to go back to the site where I found that uh, that coin purse last year or the year before that was full of coins which if you're watching this video I'm guessing you've seen that because that's by far my most popular video um, where I found that coin purse with uh, barber coins in it and uh, so I went back there and and had a chance to, to really hit it hard again and this is what I found um, ton of trash here I was digging everything, uh, hoping hoping to find a gold ring or a gold coin, but uh, but I didn't. Spoiler alert! Uh, I did find a whole lot of clad up there in the top, and then uh, found some other interesting stuff that I did want to share with you. Um, I found a lot of square nails, uh, so these are corroded and crusty, but uh, found these uh, all all throughout the site. There are some of the the better ones. Um, found three wheat pennies the oldest one is this 1928 uh, not, not too crazy um, found a one Indian head penny it's a uh, 1902 but again pretty pretty crusty the soil is not great I uh, found found silver found the 1961 Roosevelt uh, with a D mint mark so I did did get some silver um, so that's the good the good coin finds. Uh, onto some of the interesting stuff here. Um, I found this, and at first I didn't, I, I still don't know what it is. I dug it up and it looked um, like a piece of scrap metal. But then as I started brushing it off, uh, I noticed that inside, which I don't know what that is, but uh, there were, it looked like dirt, but there were all these sticks inside. And so my guess, is that this was uh, maybe a, a matchstick holder? I don't know. It's got some riveting there. No, no markings on it at all that I could see. Um, but yeah, I'd, be, I'd love to know uh, what, what you think that might be, if you have any, uh, any ideas. I found um, an old shotgun shell. It's, I couldn't really see any markings on it. It's pretty crusty. Looks like it's the kind that has the paper inside, so it could be older. Um, found a key, one key, I think it's modern. Um, yep, it's modern. Uh, for Nissan, so I guess I can I can access any any Nissans now. Um, I'm sure that's how that works. I uh, found this, this rang up like a silver dime. I thought for sure I had a silver coin and uh, and it wasn't. Um, let's see, I had some writing on there, which it's not gonna, not gonna focus. But uh, I'm guessing it's just like a pencil. I don't know, maybe a pencil tip. Um, found this marble. This was pretty deep down there, um, probably five or six inches down. I don't know much about marbles. I don't know if that's old or not old, but pretty cool. I uh, found this piece of pottery, and I think I mentioned in the video where I found that coin purse, this site is where a hotel from the 1800s burned down. So this could have been serving ware, this could have been a plate. Um, I, I don't know, who knows? Um, so it's pretty cool to find that piece of history. Um, I found this, this this is lead, it's heavy. It's um, you know, not perfectly round thought maybe when I dug it up that I had a bead because um, it looked like that looked like a hole but it's not it's just a mark and yeah so that I'm guessing is a, is a lead bullet it's pretty heavy uh, and I did find another piece of lead here um, in digging around so you know, someone was making some some bullets um, and then the last thing I found that I have no idea what this is is this and this came out of the ground 
six inches down. It was deep. So I'm guessing, for that site, that's pretty deep. So I'm guessing this is old, um, six inches. So that coin purse was about five inches down. So, so that was you know, turn of the century. So this was about the same depth, a little deeper. It seems to be handmade. It's not very, um, per, there's a lot of Im imperfections in, in the smoothness of it. Um, you can see there. Uh, I thought at first it was silver because it came out of the ground so shiny, but it definitely doesn't look silver um, now because look how dark that top is. Just to compare it to the to the rosy, and you can see that rosy's a lot a lot shinier now. Yeah, old silver can be dark, but um, but I don't know. But then I saw these markings. And I have no idea what they are. It, it looks like it says maybe uh, 107.1, and and that looks like a three inside of a square. Um, yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I've got here. So anybody that does know, if you know what this is, please leave a comment. I, I was looking up online. Um, all kinds of old needles, crocheting, leather working, sail building, um, but I couldn't really find anything that looked like this. Um, somebody put some time into the top of that, but then how would you sew something with this and pull this through the hole? I, I just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what this is, obviously. So, anybody that knows, please. Um, Please leave a comment. Let me know what this is or what you think it is. I'd love to to know more about that. Um, and same with the uh, same with the mat. What I think is a matchbook case. If if you know anything about that, let me know. Um, and yeah, that that's everything I found. I've worked the site really hard, uh, as hard as I could, and um, found a lot of targets. Uh, no more old coins, but I did hopefully find some old interesting things. Um, and hopefully you'll help me learn more about what they are. Uh, again, didn't get out too much in 2017, hoping for a productive 2018, and I'm hoping you all have a productive, uh, productive year. Love watching your videos, so keep them coming. So I need something to watch uh, when I can't get out. So thank you, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you this year, hopefully. Take care.